be a heavyweight title fight for the ages between the Korean Superboy, Duo Choi, and Gokan Saki. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. More than five years apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. We send it inside the Octagon. The veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of one win, two losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Gokan the Rebel Saki. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, Ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway. On this UFC roster, a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is, he knows where the fight needs to be, he knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Nice punch lands over the top. Cable inches right there. Yeah. 
It was a good night if that landed. And they separate. His combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts in his opponent. Missed with that right hand. Is away from landing one of those big right hands. Shoot that low kick out. Slips the punch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, misses with the jab. Kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. Back and forth we go. Single collar tie now. Right hand punch to the clinch. His opponent's got it to the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked. Oh, oh, oh. tie clutch. Glad to switch me. Choi gets the tie clinch here. Oh, that is an uppercut from hell. Beautiful job by him there. Oh, boy. The strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, massive knee to the body. That can't feel good. from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Oh, that's a nice strike. Slips the punch nicely there. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, beautiful strike attempt there as he lands the hook. Beautiful hook. Really did a great job of keeping his back hand on his chin, throwing that hook, and putting it exactly where he needs it to go. All right, throws a straight punch and lands, so that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. This is one of his best strikes, and he's throwing it over and over again. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what you, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent's staggering back to his corner and being hopeful 
that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Good one. Nice right hand. Collar tie now. And that left hook landed on the button. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. Effective strike there by Choi. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finish. Oh, the master of the transition. Nice scramble. And he caught the kick. And they separate. The fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Punch is blocked. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. And they separate. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Set up behind it, the right hook misses. Misses with that punch. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. And now he engages in a Muay Thai glitch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he oh. can get off. Oh. Get off. How about the accuracy of land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. This dude needs to grab. He needs to wrestle. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Wow! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Trying to stay in this fight! Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Went for the inside leg kick. Punch coming, it's blocked. Nice straight punch. Oh! Oh! His head's still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was over a 
versus Adonu, and you know they still haven't found Alex over his head. Most entertaining scrap so far. Stop. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can Good land, fight. he does have the Good. ability to damage it. Good. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Well, he continues to do a nice job. There's DC. He is officially run. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, feet on the hips here. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Oh, huge right hand! He got a bad! Oh, no! Back to the feet now. There's no tell on that leg kick. Choi's strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Straight right, he misses. Straight punch lands. Just missed with the left there. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. And that one certainly found the target. Such a fast leg. Oh, well, you know about his kicks. They are on point this evening. They continue to exchange. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Such a sneaky head kick, he did not recognize it. And now he's got a hurt bad. Ooh, big shot land. Big leg kick land. How about that chin? This is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Oh, oh. big one, man. Do hope joy! Now let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched one. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at three minutes, 15 seconds of the third round. 
declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Choi. Du Ho Choi is the name, ladies and gentlemen, a huge win for the Korean Superboy here tonight. And this is a kid who is just getting started. A scary proposition for the rest of this featherweight division. But we've already started to 